my biggest concern is I just want to be back with my family where I belong, where I've done my whole entire life. I just need to get home. We spoke to the lawyer and they mentioned to us that the only option we have right now is to I want to begin vlogging again and documenting my journey here in Mexico while Britsy is in the U.S. For those that are new here, I'm having to stay out of the U.S. for about a year and right now I am staying in Mexico, Monterrey to be, or Monterrey to be exact. I'm going to start to uh, speak the language, but some of you may know I've been in the U.S. since I was 11 months, so I was brought in the US without my, I was a baby. I didn't have any say on that. And I did life there for the almost 28 years of my life. If you wanna watch some previous videos, click there. But as of right now, I wanna begin documenting my life here and just kinda show y'all what's happening day to day throughout our process with the lawyers, with Britsy, being away from each other and work, getting work done as well. It's a lot, it's a uh, stretch, it's very uncomfortable, but I do think this is part of the process to get to the promise. Yeah, so right now I am uh, making some breakfast or it's already been made, but I'm, I'll, I'll just show y'all what I'm eating. Honestly, it's, uh, it's not the breakfast that you think, but it's the breakfast that we need, protein. It's about nine o'clock here. Well, I'm still trying to get used to the time here because we are one hour behind I can't remember what it is, Eastern, Middle, Middle East, I don't know what. And then it goes into just, just a quick five second clip of you baking and then it, it will be some photos of the actual uh, images. The only short term goal we have is the Senator's office. So re waiting on them to respond. And the long term goal is wait that year obviously. That's if it goes that route now. I don't think I gave y'all a full tour of the room. So I just wanted to show y'all kind of where I'm staying. But uh, can never go wrong with a Mexican blanket. Nothing too intense, but here's the view from outside. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Excuse the mess. I got, I got to take care of this and then I got Gotta get the vanico. Gotta have the fan. Got the clothes there. Dirty bin. Semi-clean clothes, I guess. It's from a good friend of ours. Elijah sent this to me. He knows I love dogs. So he decided to add the girls and Chloe, which is his dog, and then that's him right there. I'm not sure that's at his house or my house, but point is, all your dogs miss you, Elijah. told to not bring my camera out by myself so I'm probably not gonna do that today or probably not at all I don't know but it's definitely not safe to carry some of your Hello, saludos aquí. Yes sir it's really hot over here. Well, at least to me. Yeah. For them though, they're hanging out. This is this is like good weather for them. I do believe that. Wait, what? Sorry, we're all over the place. What? Where? What time is the other session? Uh, the last one. Getting all of my clothes out of the uh, the suitcase. Nice. Because. 
I don't know. I just rather have it somewhere I could just see my clothes. Yeah, and do you, do you have hangers? Or you don't like I need to go buy some, but there was a few. Okay, so I am in a situation right now. I am officially stuck and I can't get out. Basically, the store is not supposed to close on this side because there's no handle. Now I'm stuck. And all because I came out here to hang this up and turn off this boiler. So we found out the best way or really the only main option that we have to expedite my stay here in Monterrey. Originally, I am scheduled. I can't leave until November 16th of 2024. And that's still 11 months from now. Don't get me wrong. Can I do it? Yes, I can. But Brittany needs me. I need her. We need each other. I need to get home. I've never done life here. I've, I've only, I left when I was 11 months and Yes, we always can uh, visit. Britsy's a citizen. I don't know if I mentioned that already. So she can come and visit me, but we have a lot of work back at home. I don't know if you're new here or not, but we work together. So we have our own photography and videography business. And so due to some contracts, we're not able to make that happen right now. If I'm being honest, we've spent a lot of hospital or we've spent a lot of holidays in the hospital. We've learned that we can always make Christmas any day that we choose. Christmas can be in June, Christmas can be in May. It don't really matter. That's the least worry. My biggest concern is I just wanna be back with my family where I belong, where I've done my whole entire life. I just need to get home. We spoke to the lawyer and they mentioned to us that the only option we have right now is to send out a email we need all our community, everyone that knows us, people that have followed us through YouTube. It's a copy and paste, simple, three to five minute email, super quick. We'll have a copy and paste formatted email and you just have to fill out some additional information. But this is gonna help bring awareness to the senator's office, both senators in Georgia, and just bring more awareness and help us expedite my stay. The sooner I can get home, the better. If this is something that you're available or you're open to, please comment below. Let us know if this is something that you can do. Let us know that you've already sent it. Just comment below, done. We wanna see our community stand behind us and I believe that you guys will. We're really, really doing our best to stay positive. It's still fresh. Maybe we're still in shock. I don't know what tomorrow, next week, next month brings, but as of right now, I just need to take every day as it comes. But that's kind of where we're at. And then I'm locked out. I'm stuck in this four, four walled room, or I guess it's an outdoor scenario, but please, please do not stop praying. That's, that's the biggest, biggest concern of mine. Please keep praying for us, pray for our marriage, pray for our lawyers, pray for our minds, and pray that we're able to, I think we will get through this, but we want to finish strong. We want to get through it strong. I know sometimes it's okay not to be strong, but right now we need to be strong because even though, like I said, I'm able to get back home in a year from now, everything is back at home. I have nothing here. So please uh, watch our previous videos if you're not aware of what's kind of going on, but we'll keep y'all posted week to week and follow us on Instagram so that way you can kind of stay posted on some quicker updates and stuff like that. We love you guys and it's gonna be okay. We're gonna be all right. Thank you so much. We love y'all. Peace.